Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Craven, and welcome to Community. It's a new horror game by 616 Games. Uh, I'm actually now part of their Patreon, so every time they release a game, I just get it. Which is pretty sick. Uh, yeah. Synopsis. Marky is a young man who is running from the police. He decides to move to an isolated place with few neighbors. After moving to a small community, he discovers that his new neighbors are not very normal. Yeah, sick. Uh, yeah, this is by the same guy who did, like, the Poop Killer games. Uh, Hello, I'm a Serial Killer, and a few others that I've covered. Always love the music in their games. Yeah, uh, let's do it. Boop. The upside down T in community. What does the T mean? Time to leave? My name is Marky, and I'm 19 years old. I needed to move to a more isolated location. I'm running for the police. I don't really like talking about my motives. What'd you do, Marky? I need to isolate myself. A calm place with a few neighbors. So I moved to a small community. This violin part, I wonder if I have to worry about copyright. There were a few tracks that they used during the Poop Killer series that caused me some headaches with copyright. Home sweet home. I'm gonna go say hello to my new neighbors. Okay. Uh, there we go. Sensitivity's good. <laughs> go say hello to the new neighbors with this axe. Is that a bull? Always gonna look at the stuff they put in the game. Because they like to make references to other games and movies. Cute. Ah, oh, nice walk-in shower. This might actually be the same kind of shampoo I use. Huh. Okay, can we can we shit and piss? No? Okay. Seal? Can't open the fridge. And here's bedroom. Uh-oh. Wanted by the FBI. Marky Kenned Giblin? Suspected of committing several murders, mainly of women. The killer uses a clown mask to hide his identity. His, uh, he attacks his victims using an axe. A uh, shoot portrait of the killer? This must be... What is this? Shoot portrait? Uh, for any information on the suspect's whereabouts, please call and a number. So we're a piece of shit. So we're, we're... So we're a bad guy. Close all the doors, don't want bugs getting in. Okay, so we moved to like a trailer park. Yeah. Tornado fodder. Stinky trash. All right. Um, let's go say hello. Hey, buddy. Want to talk? Have a chit chat. Want to talk about ladies? Oh no, Martha, run! What do you want? Hello, I'm the new neighbor. Just want to say hi. Know that this is a family place. I don't want to mess. Okay, no problem. I just want to live in peace. I hope so. Just don't bother me. <sighs> okay, no problem. You're first on my list. Rude. Aw, she isn't chilling. Aw, she looks so sweet. And then she was so mean to me. Got a little clothesline here. What happened here? Better not discuss the subject with anyone. What do you mean? Oh, this! Uh-oh. Marky, was this you? Or does another killer live here? Hmm. Maybe we're innocent. With a clothesline. 
Damn, this one be drooping. Okay, let's go knock on the door. It's radio. Hi! Hello, you must be the new neighbor. I'll let you know right away that here we don't like a mess. Everybody's like anti-mess. Hello, no problem. I don't like clutter either. You won't have any problems with me, don't worry. Um, hello, no problem. Excellent! Now leave me alone! I have things to do! Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Can I come in? No. Yep. Can't talk to him. What's going on in there, huh? What are you hiding? Bye right, bye. Another clothesline. Oh, there's like a drainage ditch. Pick up your trash can. What is this? You're gonna burn me at the stake? Hello. Oh no, another lady. Get, get away from me. Hello. It's been a while since someone so beautiful around here. What? Since I've seen someone so beautiful around here. What? Thank you. You are also beautiful. Ah, thank you. I just came to say hi. I'm the new neighbor. Say that. It's a pleasure to meet you. I have some errands now. We'll talk later. Okay, see you later. No. I need to snoop. What's, what do you got going on? Okay, I don't see anything in there. Alright, see ya. Oh, there they are. I was like, where are the birds at? People that don't like mess, they sure do have a lot of trash out. Just baking in the sun. You look like the guy from Forest Ranger Service. Hey, get, get your ass back here. Hello, friend. Never seen you around here. You need something? Uh, I'm the new neighbor. Is this place quiet to live? Welcome. This place is the best place to live. You will love this place. <laughs> Thank you. I really like the place. See you later. Damn it. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Just snooping. Alright, I think that's all the neighbors. I guess we just go home and sharpen our axe. <gasps> what are you doing? Please, get away from me! Damn, that's a flexible neck. Hello. Is this the errand you had to run? Alright, see ya. So is there anything over here with the... The trailer that's all taped off? I'm tired. I'm gonna lay down for a bit. All right, let's do it. I close the screen. Our door looks fucked up. I gotta close the screen door. Don't want bugs. So, buddy, what is this about? Do we need to have a talk? I literally blacked out. <laughs> I was very tired. Physically and mentally, too. Around 3 a.m., I heard people talking outside. I decided to get up and see what was happening. Yeah, you exhausted from being a lady killer? Oh. I 
they gather around like a a pig or a dog? How'd you get in here? Fucking bug. Should I grab the axe? No? Okay. Damn, huge ass moon. What the fuck are you doing? They all, they're all wearing either red masks or they had blood all over them. Let's go talk to her. No? You? Yeah, he has... I think there's blood all over his face. Stop pushing me. Yeah, I can't do anything with that. So I guess I'll go back to sleep. Okay, my axe is still there. Good. Can't sleep. Maybe I need to talk to them now they're back in their houses. Hello, knock knock. All right. They don't want to talk. Is this in solo taped up? Yes. Okay, let's try talking to you. Yeah, I don't see anybody. And this is the one that called me beautiful. She's purdy too. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright, one last neighbor. just a dream. It felt so real. I doubt it was just a dream. It was all a dream. Read Word Up magazine. Okay. Axe is still there. Nothing in the shower. Um, let's grab the umbrella. Or not. It's raining. I better get... Ugh. Love that. Okay, let's go talk to our neighbors and be like, Hey! What were you doing last night? That was weird. Wait. She has the blood. Okay, let's not talk to her. Are you still taped up? Nope, you're open. Looks like someone came in here. What happened? Check. Lies! <laughs> Hey, nothing super unusual in here.
There's kind of blood everywhere. It doesn't like lead into a specific space. Damn, we have like the exact same setup. Bowl. Uh, TV there. Books here. The same pictures. Hmm. Hello. You an umbrella? You can't go in there. What happened here? I can't talk about it. I'm sorry. It's the rules. Rules? Why can't you tell me? I promise you, at the right time, I will tell you everything. Okay, I better go. <laughs> the rain's increasing. Be thankful for the rain. We'll have something to eat this year. Dot, dot, dot. You're going to get soaked. Do any of the neighbors want to talk? Does he have the blood? He does. What is the blood about, my man? So she's going home. Let's try this last neighbor. Yeah, nothing, nothing's happened at the effigy thing. The bonfire. There's the blood. Alright. Neighbors don't want to talk. Let's head back to our trailer and I guess just hang out. Maybe redecorate so we're not looking like the exact same in every house. Okay. Make sure there's nothing in there. And then do I have the blood? I don't. Axe is still there. Okay, nothing different in the shower. I can't holster the umbrella. What if I try to leave? Nothing. Okay, so who do we talk to? Oh, hello. What? What the fuck is going on in this place? So they vanished. Some thunder. Let's go ahead and. No. I need to take a shower. A nice hot shower. Okay. I'm gonna shower with your axe, just in case. Ah. <laughs> hot water. This is great. Like a weird effect going on against the curtain. I thought like feet would appear there or something. The crouch. Damn, this is a long shower sequence. Okay. At least let me use the shampoo or something. Oh, soap. There we go. Be somebody behind me. Hey! 
What the fuck? What are you doing in my house? Watch me shower. Duh. Oh. There's a lit candle. Can you brush your teeth? It's not letting me through. Uh... Hello? There's something else I have to click on. Oh, I have to get dressed. Okay, Axe is still there. Everything looks normal. I need to find out what's going on here. Someone needs to tell me the truth. Okay. There's that one lady that called me beautiful. We'll go talk to them. Hello, are you the one watching me shower? You could have joined me. What a wonderful day. She sent us rain. The corn will grow this year. Her? Who are you talking about? Ah, I think it's about time you knew. You are now part of our community. What do I need to know? In 1772, other people lived here. It was a peaceful and happy community. But they were very religious and very strict with their customs. Her name was Laura. She was a sweet and kind girl. But she didn't really accept her family's strict discipline. She liked to create drinks with healing principles. It was just a tea with medicinal herbs that she found in the forest. Her family and neighbors didn't like it. They considered it heresy against God. At a community meeting, Everyone decided that she was practicing acts of witchcraft, and this was completely against the principles of her religion. So they decided that the only way to save the girl's soul was to purify the body with fire. My god, these people were sick. What did they do to the girl? They burned her alive, right in this place. She took hours to die. Her screams of pain echoed throughout the place. This is horrible. How could a mother allow this to happen to her daughter? She had no choice. She also believed that her daughter was a witch, possessed by the devil. And what are you doing here? I mean, rituals? Vessels with blood? I've told you too many things. Go home. Sleep. Tomorrow the day will be beautiful and sunny. Okay, see ya. Can I talk to the beautiful lady? I don't think she wants to talk with me either. Hmm. So he's going home. Is there anything different with the blood? No. Okay. Everything different in the murder house. Lies. Okay, I think everything is the same. See, so yeah, I think we just go home. Yeah, she's not out. I doubt she'll talk to us. Okay. Alright, let's go sleep. Or, can we just run away? No. Always go check for a coward ending. Always. Did the candle turn black? 
Was it always this color? I guess it's kind of a blue color. An obsidian. Alright. Time to snooze. Z, 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 Z. The story Scott told me is scary. There's something very strange going on here. Hope tomorrow is a better day. I need to find out what they are hiding from me. What are you hiding from them, huh? What are you hiding from me? <laughs> what did you do? I need to talk to the neighbors. They need to tell me the truth. Come on, go ask them a question. Oh, there is corn. The fuck? Let's grow overnight. I don't want to talk now. Just tell me what's going on in this place. We're just getting on with our lives. Can't you see? What do I need to see? You will start to understand. Oh, okay. Can I have some corn? <laughs> okay, is there anything in Murder House? <laughs> eh, looks the same. And let's go talk to this guy. He's actually outside. Hello. Oh, no, you don't. Come here. What do you want, boy? <laughs> I don't have time to talk. I want to know what you're doing here. Is this some kind of ritual? Or Scott told me the story about the burned girl. Well, let's do that. Scott talks too much. This happened a long time ago. Better forget about it. Please, just tell me the truth. You will know the truth soon. What do you mean by this? You are part of this community. The truth always comes with time. Oh, God. Look at their next move when they walk. So there's Scott. Let's go talk to her first. Will you call me beautiful again? I need some self-confidence boosting. Hello. How's your day? It's okay. I'm just worried. Scott told me about the burned girl. Can you tell me more? She became a saint. Her suffering was so great that she took over this entire land. Her curse across uh, arose. Her curse arose through pain and hatred. Do you make any offerings to her? Yes, but they are not rituals. We don't use that word. We offer blood and fire to her. Only then will our land prosper. And whose blood is it? Is it human blood? I'm sorry. I need to go now. I'm so tired. See you later. See you later. I need to go now. It <laughs> just like looks away from me. <laughs> All right. Wait, Scott. Come here. Hey, buddy. Good morning, boy. Why does everybody call me boy? Sorry about yesterday. Didn't mean to scare you. Good morning. No problem. I want to know everything about this. You need to understand that you are part of our community now. We have a we have customs and duties here. I just live here. I know it takes some getting used to, but if you want to stay here, you'll need to please the girl. I'm gay. <laughs> Not interested. She died. She's no longer with us. Yes, but your spirit takes over this land. You will only prosper if it's if it wants you here. You will only prosper once. Okay. It's better to follow our ways or you'll end up like Larry. Larry? Who's he? Oh, the murder house. He lived here. You must have seen his house. Yeah, I saw it. What happened to him? He just didn't accept his fate. We'll talk later. 
I like how they just turn around. Just instantly, just like, conversation over. Weird POV shot from the... the fire. The bonfire thing. Weird. Is that a hint? I need to go back there? Again, grab the axe. What's the point of being a killer if you're not going to kill anybody? Oh, it's on fire now. They did the blood sacrifice, and now they're doing the fire ritual part. What? What? What is happening? Oh shit. What the fuck is going on? I think I'm going crazy. Huh. So you didn't actually burn down. What was that? What was happening? Damn it. Somebody talk to me! What is happening? I probably just need to go back home? Alright. Let's head back to the trailer. So was I out there all night? Or was it just a vision? See anybody in there? Oh. More corn. Huh. Nice. Somebody's whispered in my ear. I was captured and locked in a cage. These neighbors are completely crazy. I don't know what they want from me. I think they've all been taken over by evil. I need to escape this place. Hey, so I'm in a cage. Uh... Hello? No! I trusted you! Oh, she's sleeping. I can't really see. Uh... Lady, I have a sordid past with women and an axe. I'm trying to pickpocket her. Yeah, I can't do anything to her. Oh, there we go. Later. Damn, they kill people to offer this demon.
All right, let's go around and get to our house. I gotta get that axe, right? They can't tease me with an axe and not let me use it. And they can't tease that I've already killed people. I'll get my axe. They need to learn a lesson. <laughs> Put on the clown mask. Sick. He's gonna put on the mask too. Yep. Amazing. <coughs> I'll show him a demon. I love that. Oh, please let me keep playing. Don't end. Kill your neighbor, zero out of four. Hell yes. All right, here we go. First, let's get the mean old lady next door. You bastards. I'll kill you one by one. Yeah, you want a demon? I'll show you a demon. Uh. You can't kill me, boy. You will pay him blood. Ah, uh, we'll get some blood out of you for sure. Uh. Okay, one down. Let's go see this guy. Into the shower. Let's do this guy next. Gonna save the one that locked me up for last. One that called me beautiful. She gets to live the longest. Snoring? Sup, fucker? Ah! Damn, he has blood D. All right, beautiful, here we go. Did you run back to your room? Idiot, dumbass. Oh, my eyes. Oh, my ears. Come on, Daddy. We're going to be late for the ceremony. What? Who? Oh, there you are. Hi. Daddy, why do I need to be purified? There's something bad inside you, my daughter. Because she made a tea? Something bad? Am I sick, Daddy?
It's going to be okay, daughter. You're going to be okay. Can I see your face? Ugh. We hurry up. All right, we're here. It is dark. Hope you all can see okay. Are you naked? No, you're wearing a mask? Wait, you are naked! Ah! Put some clothes on! You have clothes. One year later. So I've been doing this for a hot minute now. I was killing people before I came here, and now I'm killing people here. We have a new neighbor. Moved into Scott's house. He doesn't go out much. Uh... You shower? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hi. It's okay, Laura. I already understand. So. Yeah, for rent. For rent. Damn. All right. I even have the thing of blood out for him. Oh. I thought that was Scott. Uh, let's try this house. No, that's another for rent sign. Maybe you need to grab the... the mask and the axe. Yep. Sorry, man. I need your blood. Sorry, buddy. Gotta bleed you like a pig. Cause I need that corn. That sweet, sweet corn. All right. Hello. Uh. I love white bat audio. I'm using their music lately for my outros. So now I got to go see what happens if I tell her no.
I think my name's in here somewhere. It should be. Yep, there I am. Damn, they've got a lot more patrons. Banger music every time. So yeah, I wonder if I hit continue. If it'll take me back to right before the choice. Oh, fuck. No! So she brought them back so they could kill me. Damn. That's good. I like that. I like all their games. It's like the right mix of like campy, like slasher horror. Yeah. Good shit. They have another one that just came out called Meat that I'll be doing here in the next few days. Which is nothing different after the credits. I think that's it. Alright. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. That was Community by 616 Games. Uh, yeah. Again, I like that a lot. Like, I'm really glad I'm part of their Patreon, because now, like, anytime they release a game, I can just grab it and record it. It's good shit. Well, cool. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like. It really helps. Um, check out my Patreon. I actually have a full playthrough of Poop Killer Origins on my, on my Patreon as well. Uh, you can check that out and a bunch of other exclusive content for one dollar a month. Me and my partner are about to start doing the uh, Dark Pictures Anthology uh, for Patreon. It's going to be a good time. Um, I think it's it. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.